What's up everyone, it's your boy Rad 89 here bringing you another video and for today's video I wanted to bring five films to you to recommend for Father's Day and happy Father's Day to all the awesome and fabulous fathers out there and everybody, all the fathers that are up in heaven, everything, we miss you all so this is just a fantastic day so today I wanted to bring to you five films to check out to remind you of your dad or hang out with your dad and enjoy so and like I got a wide range, some horror some comedy, some action stuff. So let's talk about these movies. Roll it. So I have five films to bring to you today to recommend for Father's Day to watch. And let's start off with the banger, just the big dog. And this is my Total Recall Terminator 2 one, so it might change cases, but we're going to go right here. Terminator 2 Judgment Day, one of the best films, I think, to watch for Father's Day because it fills your sci-fi needs and your action needs, but it also has a fucking huge heart, too. Like, this film is just amazing with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Edward Furlong, their connection, and the fact that Edward Furlong is a, a kid who grew up without a father and how he's able to connect with this machine and, you know, build this relationship and teach it and everything and the machine is there to protect him so it's just a fantastic story about you know looking to other people like maybe your stepfather you know all that kind of stuff that there could be other father representations out there in your life even if you don't have one or you didn't grow up with one you know what I mean a mentor anything like that can be a father and I love the connection of also being able to accept artificial intelligence and make a relationship with it because especially with the times now that we're in and how artificial intelligence is evolving every day I think this is a very important film to watch, to digest and dissect, to really understand how our future is going to be. Next up, we have a comedy film, and that's Meatballs, starring Bill Murray, and this is directed by Ivan Reitman, and this one came out in 1979, and this is a classic, classic comedy about a group of kids going to a summer camp, and Bill Murray is one of the counselors there, and I, li I chose this one mainly because Bill Murray is that father away from home, like I said, a mentor for a child in this film who's kind of, you know, really missing home, doesn't connect with the kids there at the camp, and by the end of the film, he has this really triumphant moment when he wins the Olympiad for the camp when they're competing against the other camp. So Camp North Star, you know, Bill Murray, it's just got some really classic laughs, and it's just one of those films that's a feel-good film. So if you're into a comedy film and you want to laugh your ass off with your dad and sit down and watch some awesome Bill Murray comedy, because he, he has a direct line to my funny bone, so Bill Murray is always lands for me. I highly recommend Meatballs, one of the classics. Coming up next, we have Hotel Transylvania with Adam Sandler, Selena Gomez, you know, Kevin James, a fantastic voice cast. And for me, I chose this one mainly because of its central theme of, you know, Adam Sandler's main character of Dracula, how he has to accept the fact that your children do grow up and you have to let go eventually. You know what I mean? Not like completely forget about your kids. Not That's not what I mean. I mean, you have to be willing to let them make their own decisions, make their own mistakes and grow up and move away from home, all that kind of stuff. So this is a fantastic film that has a really strong heart and theme at the center of it. So that's why I chose this one. And this is a heavy rewatch for me and my family because I have kids, you know, I have three children, I have nieces and nephews. So we're always watching this movie and especially during the Halloween time, this is an often choice for us to watch and sit down as a family. So really great Father's Day film that has a lot of good, strong themes, cool animation, funny comedy. And I think this is probably the best in the franchise still to this day. I think the first film is the one that's the strongest and has the best theme. I do enjoy the sequels, but I think this one's the strongest in the franchise. Next up, I wanted to bring a horror choice for you, and I don't own this one. I really need to go find this one and pick this one up, and that's The Stepfather from 1987 starring Terry O'Quinn. And man, this is a film that is a really good thriller horror film, you know, about a stepfather, of course, who Terry O'Quinn plays this murderous man who's attached to, he's really obsessed with getting attached to other families and kind of moving from family to family. And of course, once they discover the evil ways and his mind kind of unravels, 
he kills the family and stuff. So I know I'm spoilers, sorry, spoilers and everything. I'm spoiling some of these films, but um, it's great. Like it's such a good tense film. And then the daughter in here is the one, Stephanie, I believe her name is Stephanie, is the one who starts to suspect, you know, Terry O'Quinn is not what he says he is and really starts to see the cracks. And yeah, it's one of those films that'll keep you on the edge of your seat. And there actually is a remake that they did in 2009. And I don't think the remake's that bad. I believe they did it with Penn Badgley from Nip Tuck. So I don't think it's that bad. Or like Penn Badgley's in it, but then they also had the actor from Nip Tuck. I can't remember his name. But it's it's this little bit of switch, a little bit of a flip because she has a son in that one, you know, the mother. And in this one, that's a daughter. But the 1987 one with Terry O'Quinn is kind of the quintessential one you want to check out first, especially. And this one's currently streaming on Tubi. For free if you want to give this one a watch and next up we have a slam dunk just straight up action film and that's the a team and this is one of those movies that i would also put in that category of a film that totally deserved a sequel because liam neeson bradley cooper rampage jackson and charlotte copley great cast like they are fantastic the perfect team to bring the a team to life on the big screen and this is one of those films that is a straight up popcorn flick it's got ridiculous action that you know probably isn't possible in any way shape or form on the earth we live but you accept it because these characters are so funny they're so engaging and the story's really good and it's a very simple story about you know they are framed by this other team and they want to discover what happened and you know clear their names and everything so it's a very simple concept we have jessica beale in here as well so this is a film that i think lands very much in terms of heavy action i'm like oh i love it so much and the a team is one like i said criminally it, that it deserved a sequel and i can't believe we haven't gotten one and this one came out in 2010 so it's 13 years later i really don't think we're ever gonna get a sequel for the a team but i really wish we did so thanks for sticking around with me all for these five films that i recommend for father's day like i said i picked a whole host of some you know, child kind of friendly family films with the whole family. Then I got some comedy in here, some horror, some action, and then some action sci-fi with some heart. So a lot of different variety of choices for you so you can pick some awesome stuff to watch for this Father's Day. And like I said, I hope you all have a glorious one and really enjoy this day and soak it up because, yeah, it's a fantastic day. I'm happy like that we're able to have the kids here and hang out with them and stuff. And like I said, to all the fathers up in heaven, we miss you so much. And don't be sure to like and subscribe to this channel and put that notification bell so you're notified anytime I post a video. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.